You know, normally when you say someone fell off, you usually mean, oh, their channel isn't doing as well anymore, or they aren't as popular as they used to be. But in this case, when I say that Rainbow Drive fell off, I mean that they went from making good music, to making decent music, to making whatever the hell their latest album is. Now, I'm not really a huge Remo Drive fan by any means. I like their first album and a few songs off of the two albums they released after that, but in all honesty and in my opinion, there isn't anything even remotely redeeming about their new album titled Mercy. I can only describe it as depressingly bad and painful to listen to. Now, let me just quickly say that this is completely my own opinion. If you like the album, then that's perfectly fine and it's your own opinion. With that being said, this album is a far fall from greatest hits or even portrait of an ugly man, sounding completely completely dull and lifeless and lacking any charm that the band once had. Now, that's not to say Portrait of an Ugly Man was a great album. It was subpar, but it still had some charm to it. This album, from the start to the finish, feels like something that was put out solely to please their label company, Epitaph Records. It has 10 tracks, it's 36 minutes long, and I will never get the time I spent listening to this back. Not a single song off of this album does anything special or really catches your attention. Every song sounds either painfully dull or lifeless, and in all honesty, the lyrics are just bad, and that becomes incredibly obvious from the get-go with the first track, Please, Please Be Smart, which within the first 30 seconds sets the tone for the album. Now. This is a good thing. You usually want your first track to establish what to expect. You listen to Art School off of Greatest Hits and you feel excited and pumped up and ready to listen to a great album. You listen to A Guide to Live By off of Portrait of an Ugly Man and it creates a somewhat depressing and melancholic mood establishing that this is going to be a somewhat moody album. But then you listen to Please Be Smart and the first thing that crosses your mind is what the fuck am I listening to? Now, this obviously won't be the case for someone who's listening to Remo Dry for the first time and can't make the same comparisons that someone who's listened to all of their albums can. Regardless, the first track still sets a bad tone for the rest of the album, maintaining a sound that I can describe as depressing, yet attempting to sound hopeful while failing miserably. It also feels like that with some of the tracks, they just didn't know what the hell to do, so they threw some shit at the wall and just hoped that whatever stuck would work, especially with the title track, Mercy, where it just takes a complete nosedive and sounds nothing like the previous four tracks in the album, with the sound that I can only really connect to like mariachi music in all honesty. I seriously can't think of anything else that it might sound like. It's really fucking absurd because the only other track that sounds like this in this entire album is the song After Mercy titled Makin' Muzak. I- I don't fucking know anymore. I- I, I actually don't- I- what, what? This track just suddenly starts. It sounds like they started recording a second or two after they started playing. There's no transition, and it's like tuning into the radio a few seconds after a song starts, except even that's less jarring than this. We continue this sudden mood change with the next track, Houseplant, which takes a slow pace and talks about how love is like a houseplant before once again changing moods with No There's No Hope For You, which was one of two singles released to promote this album a few months ago. In all honesty, this is the most generic sounding song of the bunch. It starts with the repeating drum beat, and you think, oh, finally, something that resembles their older songs, but then it ends up sounding like completely generic stock music, all while basically calling someone a total failure in life. Then, for some reason, we go straight back to the slower, depressing songs with New in Town, the other single that they released to promote the album. This is by far the most polarizing song of the bunch, and I don't know what the fuck they were trying to go for when they made it. Hell, I don't know what the actual fuck they were going for when they made this whole album in its entirety. The tracks don't seem to follow any specific order or try to tell some sort of story, and it can't even maintain a consistent mood or theme. Now, there's lots of albums that rapidly change moods, but the difference is that those albums usually do it well. In fact, in my honest opinion, nothing on this album has been done well. It's an even bigger insult when you realize that the time between this album and their last album was four years. They had four years to make this. Now, I'm not saying that they spent all four years working on this album, but it's still an album they spent time making and probably tried to put some effort into. Not to mention, the lyrics are also just painfully bland, uninspired, and boring. When they initially released those two singles, I listened to them and just about immediately hated them. It was something that was completely different from anything they've made before. Now, 
Like I said earlier, there's nothing wrong with wanting to try something new. I liked Portrait of an Ugly Man and some of the tracks off of Natural Everyday Degradation. It was clear they were experimenting with their sound a little, and it wasn't something completely horrible, but it's still weird and kinda jarring how fast they moved away from the style they established with Greatest Hits. The same style and sound that gave them almost instant success and genuine praise from a lot of reviewers, including Fantano, who gave their album a 7 out of 10. I'm not saying they have to stay completely true to Greatest Hits. What I am saying is that this path they're heading in isn't a good one at all. If you go on their Spotify page, 8 out of 10 of their most popular songs are from Greatest Hits, and I feel like that should say something to them. Just about all of the songs from their past three albums haven't even come close to hitting the number of streams Greatest Hits has, and that's honestly going to stay true with this latest album. I don't think I've ever been as disappointed with an album before as I have been with this one. Even Logic's Confessions of a Dangerous Mind has some charm to it, and that album is widely regarded to be a repetitive, miserable, shitty mess. Mercy is isn't even repetitive. It's just shit. There's nothing remotely appealing about this album, and even the cover screams, I'm a generic, boring, shitty mess. It's soulless, depressing, and incredibly unappealing, and in all honesty, if they keep going down this path, then they're going to tear down everything they've built. I mean, the only reason anyone knows about them is because of greatest hits. I think that at this point, if they want to keep making this kind of miserable music, then they should just create a new band and let the Remo Drive name retain whatever's left of its original identity or dignity. They had the perfect start too. Most bands would kill to have even a fraction of the success Remo Drive had with Greatest Hits, and all they did was waste it. They still have so much potential, and yet they're doing absolutely nothing with it. It's just a sinking ship at this point, but rather than try to pump out the water that they're taking on, they're grabbing buckets, filling it with seawater, and throwing it on deck. There's this great video that released in 2020 called Why People Stopped Listening to Remo Drive, made by a great channel called Nate the Mate that gives insight as to why they based basically abandoned the sound and style they established with greatest hits, and in short, it boils down to the members being egotistical twats that don't really like criticism. I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description, I'd give it a watch if you want more insight into Remo Drive. In all honesty, I give this new album a straight 0 out of 10. I had absolutely no fun listening to this, and no tracks in particular caught my eye or made any of this even remotely worth listening to. Just when you think that you're finally gonna hear something good, your hopes and dreams immediately get destroyed. It's just a messy album, and it felt more like a rejected or scrapped songs type of album. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to join the Discord server, follow me on Twitch, and help subscribe to my Patreon if you want. It's like $5 and it's totally up to you. I don't care, just just do whatever, honestly. Thanks for watching, I'm gonna pop out now.